All right, so what I have laid out here on my toolbox in a big mess is everything that comes in the Holly uh, Terminator X Max kit. So that is the ECU main engine harness, the touchscreen, uh, there's a couple pigtail adapters here, injector harness, wide band O2 sensor. Um, these are the main uh, power wires for the ECU. Inputs and outputs. Then we have over here, this is the transmission harness because this is going into this Camaro here, which it's pretty much stock other than it's got a it's got a mild cam in it it's pretty good pretty decent cam but um yeah we're gonna pull all the factory stuff out and we're gonna go to the holly ecu and um the it's had some bugs here in the past with a couple misfires and some different electrical problems that it's had so we're gonna try to get rid of the electrical problems that it's been having in the, with the stock harness and just go straight here to the uh, standalone ce how it does so all right i'm gonna go ahead and uh get to it ripping this uh old harness out All right, so we're here. Uh, I got the old harness out. Um, it's over here. Oh, that's not it. Yeah, here we go. On the floor. Um, so right now in the process of putting the holly in. Um, so got the holly harness. Uh, we started installing all this stuff up here. Just want to kind of get everything plugged in and then we'll clean it up and make it look pretty uh, once I get a little further into it. But uh, right now trying to get the uh, cam wire plugged in back there if you're familiar with the f-bodies they're a pain it sits way back there but um we're actually going to go ahead and um since he's um going to run this as a drag car it's not running any emission stuff so we're actually going to use the uh the vacuum port over here on the intake right here to um uh provide uh, a signal or a vacuum signal to the built-in map sensor that the uh Terminator X has on it so that way uh, we're not even going to use the uh, the map sensor that goes in the back now the Terminator X does have this connector here and we'll read a two bar map sensor the you can just get a GM two bar and plug in there but uh, right now where this is just naturally aspirated we're just going to leave that unhooked for now and we'll probably just uh, coil it up and zip tie it up out of the way uh, until he decides whether or not he wants to uh, add a uh, turbo or supercharger or something something else to it for now but uh so that's where i'm at right now uh and then uh, i'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep hooking that up uh once i get everything plugged in we'll uh get the uh injector harness um that actually plugs in i believe it is i think it's this one right here so uh maybe it's one of those this is the can or the inputs and outputs, not the can, the inputs and outputs. And then I believe it's this one is the injector harness. And then the, the injector harness actually is right here. So this will plug in to that other end and uh, just feeds all eight injectors. So. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna get back to it.
Okay, so I got the wideband installed here and everything's just hanging. I'll secure all this up here once uh, we get a little further. I'm just trying to get all my connectors hooked up. This is all the wiring that goes up to the ECU right here that uh, I just kind of got it slung over the header for now until uh, I get a chance. I'm gonna go ahead and probably heat wrap all this and then run it up through there. And that way we can uh, connect everything to the Terminator ECU up top. So um, kind of got to get it out of the way of these transmission lines they got in here. It looks like somebody replaced them at one time. So um, I'm gonna kind of snake everything up through there. Probably need to move these, they're touching the header. But, um, but yeah, um, got the starter out right now. Uh, you can kind of see right up in here, right here, the crank wire is hooked up. It's nice. It comes from Holly already heat wrapped and everything. So that's good. So I'm going to keep plugging away at it. A few more thing connections to make. Um, got the, uh, main, uh, transmission plug hooked in. This is a vehicle speed signal I need to hook up so we can have a speedometer, but we got the, uh, main, uh, connector hooked up there and then the, uh, tail shaft speed sensors plugged in so once you get all these wires hooked back up um, get all the get this relay mounted and all that stuff will be uh, be looking pretty good all right got a little bit more done on it here uh, another update so the injector connector I was showing you earlier that was not the right connector it is actually tucked back up in here I'll pull it out of here just so you can kind of see it that is the connector for the injector harness and it, it's just tied in back here where the uh, like the knock sensor oil pressure sensor all that stuff is connected at back there but um, so the injector harness is plugged in uh, might do something that kind of hide some of the wires uh, eventually but as of right now it's looking pretty good so um, so what I'm going to do is to power the fuel pump and everything I'm actually going to tee these in underneath the uh, the fuse block here and uh, I'm going to um, get power off the key and um, just run run the uh, fuel pump signal wire off uh, to the uh, factory relay side uh, so that'll make it easy so we don't have to run any wires to the back of the car uh, or anything like that so there's already wires run right there so we'll take care of that and then uh, pretty much everything else is hooked up I just got to uh, route the transmission harness up um, down through back there and uh, hook it up and then I'm gonna use the factory uh, mount area back in here I'm gonna try to weatherproof this somehow and um, and actually mount the ECU and then um, use the grommet that's down in here and run the um, the touch screen uh, inside the inside the car so uh, and then um, just make sure I weatherproof all this stuff down here uh, so we don't end up with uh, water in the ECU but, uh, but yeah so anyway so that's where I'm at right now uh, Still got a little ways to go, but uh, we're getting there one step at a time. All right, so got most of the wiring tucked up in here. Um, kind of see the speed sensor output and the main uh, connector for the 4L60. Um, went ahead, got the wideband installed here. Uh, just used the bung that they already had welded in this header here. Um, but this here, I went ahead and heat wrapped. This is the uh, transmission harness, uh, the main, uh, piece of the harness that goes up and, uh, where it's running, I kind of got it running over the header here. Um, we've got plenty of air gap here, so I'm not too worried about it, but I wanted to go ahead and heat wrap because, um, it doesn't come from Holly with heat wrap on it. Um, and, uh, just wanted to get that wrapped up so that we can, uh, keep that up and, uh, away from anything from it melting on that header there just because these f bodies it's pretty tight but um so got that done probably still need to move these over but um everything else under here is is pretty much wrapped up and kind of tucked up out of the way everything's kind of pushed up on top of the transmission and uh zip tied up in place so um i'm gonna go ahead up uh to the top and just uh kind of go over uh what all we got done uh up there today and back up top now um Got most of this pretty much secured and um, injector harnesses in. Um, right now you can kind of see down here, that's just that extra map wire that's tucked down there for the two bar. I just tucked it under there for now, just to keep it out of the way. 
But uh, you'll notice the Terminator does not use the mass airflow sensor, so we'll probably have to get some sort of coupler to go over there, but we're just going to leave that on there for now so we can run it. It'll be fine like that. But I went ahead over here and jumped. I put all the um, the wire for the fuel pump, uh, power, and there's a tack signal wire in this loom too. I just added this. This is loom that I had laying around that I tried, and I just wanted to jump here just to see if I'd have power on the uh, on the pin going back if it would send the power to the uh, fuel pump and it does it works fine i tested that out um so i just gotta button up a few things on it uh tomorrow as far as uh put the battery back in get the ecu mounted get it in place um all this wire back here this is just the uh power and ground for the um transmission control um so i gotta wire that in i actually started adding another wire in here that is going to, once I get it all secured, I'm gonna run it. It's gonna go underneath here and I'm gonna tie it into the factory uh, fuse box and everything up underneath. So that way we can utilize the fuse block that's already there. Um, no reason to pull it out. It, it's gonna work fine. That way all the accessories will still work inside the car. But uh, yeah, so I just gotta button that up and uh, finish up a few things and then uh, be ready to start tuning it. That'll be on part two of the video but over here i wanted to show you the uh the holly comes with this uh instruction manual here and uh i was pleasantly surprised how uh well the details i mean everything's like in color all the pictures of the connectors and the harnesses and they go through here and o2 sensor placement um how to plumb up a fuel system if you're putting it into something that doesn't already have a efi uh, pump in it but um yeah all the pictures are in color plenty of detail and they even give you the part numbers if you need adapter harnesses for anything all the holly part numbers so um the uh, holly is very complete i really like it um put a few of the other different brands of um, standalones in and i gotta say the holly is probably probably up there as uh, my favorite just for the simplicity that it is to, to put in so Got a few things to wire and uh, getting everything nice and dirty. But, um, so yeah. Anyway, I just got to, uh, tomorrow I got a ECU mounted. Uh, get the main power. This is just the main battery power. This goes straight to the battery. So once I put the battery back in it, we'll hook that up. Hook up this, uh, this here to the, just to vacuum on the uh, manifold. Just going to use the vacuum port. And then I'm actually going to use these. These are the actual fe uh, fan relays, the stock fan relays out of the Camaro. I'm going to uh, take these and wire in the, uh, the fans and then uh, just use the uh, input and output wires here. I think it's I think it's this one, the gray and the yellow and gray and red. I think those are the ones. But yeah, anyway, so I'm going to do that so that I can run the factory uh, F-body fans. Um, the factory fans work pretty good on these cars, so gonna go ahead and do that but i'm gonna wrap it up for now and then uh we'll come back with part two part two will just be uh, finishing up installation and then getting to tuning on the terminator all right we'll catch everybody later